Hey guys. Hi, I'm Jimmy, the director of Madden the Cosmic Cleanup Squadron. And I'm Noah, the producer of Madden the Cosmic Cleanup Squadron. We just wanted to send you a message before watching this that thanks for watching us. And uh, stick around till the end for a message from our sponsors. Enjoy. Yeah. So is this your first time in space? Yep. Cool. Mine too. Hi, my name's Matt. Hi, Matt. Hi. Isn't this exciting? Like, we're going to space. Shoot. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> like, when I was a little kid, I used to watch these things take off all the time. I would just do that. That's how I spend my weekends. But now, I can't believe they made this space elevator that just boom, straight up to space every single time. Isn't that so cool? Prepare for artificial gravity. Oh my gosh, we're about to get the most amazing deal ever! Entering mesosphere. They took out the windows because people kept falling out of them. There she is! Okay, well, I'm sure there'll be plenty of other chances to look at the Earth then. I guess. Uh, and that's when uh, the mob security came in and was like, he's not a girl. Oh, oh, hey, guys, uh, new recruits. Welcome to the USS Janitorial 1492, or uh, as we like to call it, the Columbus, you know, because of the whole 1492 bit. Anyway, uh, this is your first mate, Sam. She's going to be uh, with you guys here. Me and her have been together for a few more cycles now, and we've gotten pretty familiar, I, I, I'd like to say. So I'd like to have that relationship with you guys eventually, and uh, from there, I'm going to let you take over, all right? You do the thing. Say words. Sure. All right, recruits. Ground rules. Number one, the job always comes first. I don't care what your condition is. You hate it here, you miss home, or even if you have the Glagarian space aids, the job always, always comes first. And number two, no peeing in the showers. You got that? Okay, let's get on with training then. So, this is where you guys will sleep. Oh, that's, that's pretty tight. Yes, we had to get rid of one of our storage closets to fit you two in here. Oh, well, would it be okay if I just like slept in the, the loading area? No. Oh, okay. So, uh, first mate Sam, so- You can uh, just call me Sam. Oh, my bad, my bad. Uh, so, how long have you been out here for? I don't know, something like seven years? Seven whole years. Whew, that time I would have still been in elementary school. Dang. Anyways, so have you seen any like crazy animals like a uh, Pluto sloth or like a weird slug? No. No? Oh. I thought those things would have been like everywhere out here, man. Shoot. Listen, kid. Don't be so happy. You're a janitor now universally considered to be one of the worst jobs across nearly every species. Yeah, but it's like... space. <laughs> Whatever. You can drop your stuff in here. Next, I'm going to be showing you just down the hall. What's that? Quiet. Hey crew, uh, saddle up for warp speed. We just got an order to vacuum up some rocks in the Zandalonian belt. Get ready. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. We're about to warp. It's gonna be awesome, man. Shut up, sit down, and when the blue light comes on, hold your breath. I don't even give me a seatbelt or nothing. Hey, this is gonna be easy, okay? Done it a hundred times in simulation, not even a problem. Oh, here we go. Warping in three, two, one. Warp drive engaged.
It's warp drive, kid. Oh my god, I feel like I just had Space Panda Express. Yep, you'll get used to it. Now, oh. come on you two. The job always comes first. Put this on. Hmm. It's pretty foggy out there. What's the matter, Matt? You realizing space isn't all it's chalked up to be? No, Sam, not that. It's gonna take more than just a little stomachache to make me not excited about space. Okay. Maybe I judged you too quickly. Yeah, I guess you did. Yeah, because for a second there, I thought you were gonna... <laughs> Well, we, uh, we did all we could. And Federation rules say we can't work on days with casualties, so we get the day off. What? Yeah, Federation rules. One loss of life equals one day off. But whatever happens to the job always comes first. Yeah, yeah, it does. But... Federation rules say we get the day off, so we get the day off. Kid, listen. You don't get too down on yourself, all right? You should consider yourself lucky you're learning the realities of space this early, like... I mean, you know, what's, his, what's her name? Shoot, uh, Spam, what was her name? You don't even know my name. I mean, whatever. So, listen, in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't really matter. She does matter. Right. Wait, no, 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 it was the other way. She doesn't matter. Like, listen, you don't matter. I don't matter. Like, this is space. I gotta get her name. Really? What? Ugh, never mind. What's her name? 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 Oh! and check in um we got on the ship okay and i think this is gonna turn out okay actually you know i initially did this just as a way to get out of the house but i think i might do some exploring out here there's this other guy that came in at the same time as me and he's new too but i think if we hang out a little more we might actually get along and things might get a little happier oh gotta go bye still not him still not him Who's there? I'll, I'll get you with this vacuum, man. Don't even be worried about it. Hey, Matt. How's it going? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Dude, what happens to your spacesuit and your helmet? Okay, here. We'll just share the air and we'll just. We'll oh, Matt, calm down. We don't need helmets here. The air here is really similar to the air on Earth. We could breathe fine. Oh. Misty. Well, either way, come on, we gotta go back to the ship. Actually, I think I'm gonna stay. You're gonna stay? I know, it sounds crazy, but the thing that was trying to take me, it wasn't trying to hurt me, it was actually trying to enlighten me. And it succeeded. So the things that grabbed you out of the ship enlightened you. Yeah, it made me realize that I didn't have a life on Earth. I wasn't living to live, I was living to die. I think here I could have a second chance. 
So you're gonna stay here? Yeah. And don't worry, it's perfectly safe. Apparently they don't come across a lot of humans, so I'm like a national treasure. Oh. Okay then. Well, enjoy your tentacle society and good stuff and uh, have a good one. Thanks, Matt. Oh wait, hold up, hold up. What's your name? My name? Yeah, your name. It's John. John Wayne. John Wayne? That's a weird one. Yeah, my parents were like super into old western films. Oh, and if you see them, you know, my parents, can you let them know I'm gonna be all right? Okay, we will do. Well, have a good life, John Wayne. Thanks, Matt. Where have you been? Seriously, we were worried sick. You could have died, and one death, that's normal. Two, that gets an audit, and the last thing we need is any kind of government agency on this ship. You could have hurt yourself. Her name was John Wayne. What? Never mind. Come on, we have a job to do, guys. What is up with that kid? I don't know, but I think I like it. Okay, really? Him? Come on, you know what I mean, you old bag. Space janitor, space, space, space janitor, space, space, space janitor, space, space janitor, space, space, space janitors, space. That's right, tentacle brethren. No longer will we be the punching bag of the galaxies. We will rise, we will conquer, and we will rule. And our first stop the green planet, Earth. Dun, dun, dun. Janitors, space, space, space janitors, space, space, space janitors. Matt and Sam and Captain and Matt and Sam and Captain. They're space, space janitors, space, space janitors, they're space. Space janitors, space, space janitors, Matt and Sam and Cap Eaton and Matt and Sam and Cap Eaton. They're space janitors, space janitors, space janitors, they're space janitors. I think that point is very clear. They're space janitors. fun time y'all no it isn't fun making fun of our sponsor yeah Jimmy has a point in there even though the episode was incredibly good probably good enough to be best show of cable aid at the fall semester awards there were some things said that don't reflect the views of man the cosmic cleanup squadron we like to the, the first thank our sponsor Space Panda Express Space Panda Express I know was the butt of a joke in the episode but they are loved by the community, but they shouldn't be loved by pregnant women and children under 12, as it could cause cardiac arrest. That's right. Pregnant women, children under the age of 12, cardiac arrest. Stay away. Um, we might just get cut off at some random point, and if that happens, that's okay. Just remember that we're here watching you. Watch us. So I just need to let you guys know, hit that like button, leave a comment below, and eat Space Panda Express, because it's keeping the lights